Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular uh, video, we're going to deal with this nice, lovely math word problem. So let's go ahead and read the problem right now. It says a rope is on a two foot diameter pulley. And just uh, in case you don't know, a pulley is one of those things that, you know, things get wrapped around just in case you didn't uh, remember what a pulley was. And the question is how many turns are needed to bring in a hundred uh, foot of rope on this pulley. So I don't want to give you too many hints here because I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. So if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm going to go through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the answer. The answer is approximately 16 turns, okay? So you got this pulley, right? So let me just kind of sketch it out a little bit. So here, you know, it's kind of like a winch, right? So here you have rope and whatnot, you know, it's kind of like something like a crane would have this thing right here is called a pulley and this thing just turns and turns and turns if it turns out this way more rope goes up if we turn this way the rope would go uh um you know into the pulley so that's effectively what's going on just in case you were a bit confused but we needed uh to turn that pulley approximately 16 turns to bring in a hundred foot of rope okay so how'd you do well if you got this answer right by the way if you have like 15.8 or 15.9 uh, or 16.1, that's perfectly fine because you'll see here um, how uh, we do get, uh, we have to work with some, of the some basic approximations to get a number. But again, you'll know whether you're pretty close to this answer. But if you got this thing right, let's go and give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you uh, solved a nice, interesting math work problem today. And what is this problem dealing with? Well, a pulley, okay, is round. This thing is a circle. And in the problem, we have this lovely word right here, diameter. Okay, so the diameter is a term that describes a uh, characteristic of a circle. Okay, so if you're thinking, hey, maybe I'm dealing with circles here. Well, you're absolutely correct. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. All right, so here is the problem, and anytime you're uh, reading a uh, or uh, trying to solve any math word problem, whether it be an algebra word problem, any it doesn't make a difference. You want to read the problem one time and then reread it a couple more times to so really understand what's going on. Again, we have this rope that's attached onto this two-foot diameter pulley. Okay, so we're looking for how many turns are needed to bring in this hundred f uh, feet of rope back onto the pulley. So what you'll always want to do in any math word problem is model the problem. Okay, so come up with a nice little sketch. I mean, this problem here is a perfect opportunity to kind of come up with a quick diagram. You always want to do that because it's going to help you think about the problem. So here would be our pulley. Of course, we're, um, you know, we said it has a two foot diameter. Right, our pulley is a two foot diameter, indicating that our pulley is circular. Okay, so here is a round little pulley. And it's uh, the diameter is the width of a circle. Okay, so the, here is uh, two feet, and we can kind of be more precise and put in the unit a measure right there. A little uh, that little mark right there is for feet. So this is two feet. This is two inches. Uh, just in case you'd like to use that notation, but this is the same thing as feet, and this is the same thing as inches. Remember, when you're dealing with the problem like this, and there's feet involved in the problem. You're going to have to be really uh, conscientious about the units of measure in your final answer. Okay. Anyway, so uh, in this case, well, let's just go ahead and apply. That this is two feet diameter uh, pulley, and we have this rope on the pulley. Okay. So we want to bring in a hundred uh, feet of this rope back onto this pulley. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to turn the pulley, right? We have to make some uh, revolutions here. So we're gonna have to turn this thing around. And as we turn this pulley one revolution, okay, we're going from this distance here. We're starting from here and we're gonna end up back over here. So that would be one turn, okay? 
But what is one turn conceptually in terms of a circle? Well, one turn, that distance traveled is the circumference, okay? So if we turn this uh, circle, this circular uh, pulley one time around, i.e. 360 degrees, uh, we did one lap, that is covering one circumference of the circle, okay? So what is the circumference? Well, again, the circumference is the distance around the circle. So we have a lovely formula for that. So the circumference of a circle is equal to two pi r, two times pi times the radius, or alternatively, uh, the diameter times pi, because two times the radius is the, uh, the diameter, okay? So in this particular uh, situation, because we have the diameter, we can use this formula for circumference, and this is gonna be super easy. So let's go ahead and figure out the circumference of this uh, circle, this circular uh, pulley. So the circumference, again, is going to be uh, equal to the diameter times pi. And pi, okay, uh, is an, what we call an irrational number. So just in case you don't know, there's the symbol for pi. It's approximately equal to 3.14. And there's an infinite amount of digits and numbers that follow 3.14, okay? Now, the uh, decimal, uh, the digits behind this decimal are what we call non-repeating and non-terminating. In other words, it goes on and on forever with no rhyme or reason. That's what we call, again, an irrational number. So you can never get a perfect full decimal for pi. So anytime you just cut off that decimal, you are you know, basically estimating, you're, you're coming up with, a, not an estimate, you're, you're coming up with an approximation, okay? So, you know, like the most basic approximation for pi would be, uh, you shouldn't use nothing, uh, uh, less than 3.14. You shouldn't use 3.1. So 3.14 would be the minimum amount. And that's what I'm going to use uh, in this particular uh, video just to keep it nice and simple. But just know that the more digits of pi that you use, the more accurate your final answer is going to be. That's why there could be a little bit of difference in terms of our final answer. But you'll see here that um, you know, we can, we're going to be pretty close, you know, it doesn't make a difference how many digits you use. It's going to be roughly around 16 turns on this pulley. But anyways, I don't want to skip ahead. Let's go ahead and calculate the circumference. So the circumference is going to be equal to the diameter, which is two feet times pi. This is the exact uh, measurement, but let's go ahead and replace that pi, uh, with 3.14. So that's going to be approximately 6.28 feet. Okay. Because our diameter is in feet, our circumference is in feet. So in other words, if we had a little rope there, we went around one time and it kind of, uh, you know, took that rope and laid it out straight like that, it would be well, approximately 6.28 feet long. Okay, so again, one turn of the pulley is equivalent to the circumference. So one turn, we're gonna bring in about 6.28 feet of rope. All right, so with that, um, you know, knowledge, this is now a pretty, uh, easy problem. We want to bring in 100 uh, feet of rope, and we're bringing it in at 6.28 feet at a time, right? So this is one turn. So 100 divided by 6.28, these feet would cross cancel. 100 divided by 6.28 is approximately 15.92. So that's a uh, number of turns, right? So let's just kind of round that up to 16. So it's going to be approximately 16 turns of our pulley will bring in a hundred feet. Okay, so hopefully you were able to solve this problem. And even if you didn't get this thing correct, this is pretty basic level, you know, uh, I'd say middle school mathematics. Uh, yeah, maybe some of you, maybe seventh grade, eighth grade, definitely high school level math. Don't let these uh, formulas uh, confuse you, okay? or intimidate you, right? And we're dealing with circles. You're going to have to know some of these basic formulas. It's a, the circumference of a circle is pretty foundational geometry knowledge that I think everyone should know about, okay? And also the, your uh, understanding of pi and how to use it uh, to calculate estimates or approximations of final answers. Now, on your calculator, you should know, most of you out there, if you have some sort of basic scientific calculator, you should be able to bring up uh, your decimal 
uh, for, uh, for pi, whatever the calculator has stored, okay? So again, if you have a scientific calculator, certainly a graphing calculator, make sure you know how to bring that decimal up. But if you uh, totally forgot and you're like, oh, I forgot, just remember 3.14 and you'll be good to go. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.